guys. So, today we're going to talk about the basics of chemistry. I'm sure you're thinking, now wait a minute, I'm in biology class, right? We're not supposed to talk about chemistry here. Chemistry? Yeah, chemistry. Well, actually, every day in your lives you're going to use chemistry. And in order to understand the basics of all life, because biology is the study of life, we have to know the fundamentals of living things. And, of course, living things are made of chemical compounds, so gotta know your chemistry. So, when you inhale air, and your body uses it in chemical reactions. When you eat food, your body's gonna break it down and use it in chemical reactions. Basically, everything your body does is gonna come back to a chemical reaction. So, let's talk a little bit about the basics of chemistry. Now let's go back to our levels of organization. If you remember, all living things are made of cells. So if we go backwards, we can see that cells are made up of things called organelles and even smaller molecules. Now all living things are made up of chemical compounds. Sometimes molecules, sometimes simple elements themselves, but all elements are made up of atoms. So let's talk a little bit about what atoms are composed of themselves. Now atoms are made up of things called protons, and neutrons, which can be found in the nucleus of an atom. Now atoms are also made of electrons, which are very lightweight and orbit the atom. An element is made of one type of atom. And all the known elements on Earth can be represented in the periodic table of elements. Dun, dun, dun. Now remember, protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus of the atom. Protons are positive. P for positive protons. Neutrons are neutral. Neutral neutrons. Neutral neutrons. And electrons, which are orbiting around the atom, are going to be negative. So with the positive charge from the protons and the negative charge from the electrons, most atoms are going to have a neutral charge. And neutrons, they don't do anything. Alright, so if we take one square or tile from the periodic table and examine it more closely, you're going to see a lot of numbers and letters and symbols. So let's look at this one. Now this is the tile for the element carbon, which is a very important element in biology, also in chemistry, but super important in biology. We'll study it a lot this year. The letter up here, this is going to be our chemical symbol for the element carbon. Now this is very important. Every time you see the big capital C, it's going to mean carbon in our classroom. So down here we have what's called the atomic number. Now this symbol means number, not hashtag. Atomic hashtag. No, atomic number. Yes. So, uh, this is our atomic number, and the atomic number is simply the number of protons that are inside the nucleus for this atom uh, of this element. And over here we have the atomic mass. Now, the atomic mass is going to be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons that are inside the nucleus of this atom. So, if you wanted to know the number of neutrons, what you can do is take the mass and subtract the number over here, the atomic number, also called Z sometimes. Now, over here we can do it, 12 minus 6 is going to give us 6, so the mass minus our 6 protons is going to give us 6 neutrons. We know that there are 6 neutrons in the nucleus of this particular atom. Okay, that's it for the basics of chemistry. See you next time.